Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Metal Area Music Reviews, where today I will be going over To The Grave's new album, Director Cuts. Director's Cuts, excuse me. Uh, there's not really much else to say about this one, so let's just get straight into the album. Uh, the first song we have is called Warning Shot. I actually expected this one to be like an intro, introduction sort of song, just like an ambient, more like sometimes I'll have these intro songs. But actually, no, this one actually was like kind of a fleshed out song. It was just only a minute and 30 seconds or something like that. Um, only complaint about this song is I wish it actually had more structure to it. I wish it was a longer song, basically, is what I'm trying to say, but it's still cool. Um, next one is the first single we got from this album called Red Dot Sight. This one is super heavy. I really liked the chorus in the song and the use of cleans. Uh, there's some cool riffs in this one, and I really like the breakdown at the end, too. Um, next song is called Full Sequence. I uh, really like the main riff to this one. It's like almost genty in a way. Um, I also really like the breakdown in this song. Excuse me. Uh, next song is called BDTS, which I'm pretty sure it stands for Burn Down the Slaughterhouse. Um, but I don't, I'm not fully sure on that. This one was cool. Um, I didn't really like it as much as some of the other songs on this album. But I thought it was still cool. Um, there were some cool riffs in it. But yeah, um, I didn't like it as much as some of the other songs on this album. Next song we have is called Protest and Server featuring Sam Crooker. Featuring, uh, featuring Sam Crooker from Antagonist AD. I uh, really liked this one. I actually really did like the guitar work of this one. Um, this The guitar solo was a nice surprise too in the song. I like that. Next one is probably my favorite on the album called Manhunt. Uh, this one was uh, probably my favorite on the album. Like I said, I loved how heavy and relentlessly brutal this song is. I really like the chorus too. It's different, but it's really cool. I really like the groove behind the solo at the end. That groove is so infectious. It's so good. Um, next one is called Found Footage. This one was super different. Like, really different. Um, I really liked it, though, because it was so different. Uh, I like Dane's vocals in this song a lot. They stood out to me. Um, I, I like the more atmospheric kind of vibe. There's no breakdown. There wasn't really, like, a, any structures to the song. Uh, this song actually almost, it kind of reminds me of the song My Grave Lay With Me off Pale Faces album Fear and Dagger from last year. Um, although it's kind of similar in a way. Um, next one is another single. This is definitely one of my favorites from the album too. This is called Acts of Kindness. Uh, this one might be my favorite song. I don't know. It's, this one and Manhunt are kind of side to side. To side. Um, I really liked the main riff for this song. The cleans and the chorus in this one are really good, too. And, of course, a brutal breakdown. Next one is called Reversing the Bear Trap featuring Jess, Jesse Christensen. I couldn't find what band he is from. I uh, really like the intro to the song, and the groove the song has, too, is really good. Um, and also, I really liked the chorus on the song. Next song is another single called Cut Off the Head. This one was a close second for a favorite single. But this one is right behind Acts of Kindness. Um, I loved Dane's vocals in this song. Really liked the riffs, too. As always, Breakdown is super heavy, too. Uh, last song we have is called Die, Rise. I liked the intro to this one. It's more creepy. Kind of makes you feel uncomfortable. It's a clean intro. Um, I liked the atmosphere in this one. This wasn't so brutal. I mean, it's still brutal because it's to the grave. It's deathcore. It wasn't as brutal as, say, like, Manhunt or Acts of Kindness. It was more melodic, atmospherical, at least for me. I don't know about the rest of you. Just remember, music is subjective. Um, Breakdown at the end was cool, too. My favorite songs on this album were Manhunt, Acts of Kindness, and Die, Rise. Uh, now it's time for my final impressions for the album. Overall, this album was one of my most anticipated albums of 2023, and it delivered. Uh, loved the production on this album. I really, really like that guitar tone. It's so meaty and chunky. It's thick, very thick. You can hear it very well, and I love, I love that. Um, this album will be getting a nine out of ten for me. Most likely, will end up on my top ten of the year. So expect to see that come December. And that's about it for today's video. 
Uh, once again, this was to, to, to the Graves album, Director's Cuts. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.